What's up YouTube? It's Project and welcome to the Let's Play for Monster Hunter World. Last episode we took on Palamu and then descended into the Rotten Vale and fought both Giros and Redaban. And this time, well, apparently uh, we gotta speak to the Fleet Master, the third Fleet Master. I did do some farming and I got Redaban's Greatsword, which is a sleep greatsword. Pretty cool. Um, but anyways, let's see what the third fleet master has to say. Now is the time. Yes. Are you ready to descend into the depths of the Rotten Vale? Yes. Even <laughs> deeper. First, we'll see if we, we can spot Zora Magdros's trail from the air. If we find anything promising, we'll look for a safe place to drop you off. Well then, off we go. So we're going deeper into the Rotten Vale. Because we already went there, so... I think uh, a, I think it was closed off. That was what that X was on the map in the previous episode. So that's probably what that's about. Legiana. The membrane that covers its entire body enables Legiana to move with incredible speed. Still haven't fought him yet. Maybe this episode. We'll see. Here we go. It's breathtaking. Rafinos. They look so free. So, what's the bottom of the veil like? <laughs> I could not say. Though we have learned much, what we have are mere facts, and not a single clue to what truth they add up to. We know Zora Magdaros is heading there, but why? The world is full of mysteries to consume us. Yeah. And delicious mysteries to consume. <laughs> Waifu. <laughs> hey, I think I found something. That's pretty funny. Let's set her down. Or not. Oh. As I thought. Oh. Oh. oh snap. Oh, that was awesome. Legiana. So we are going to face it, right? We have disturbed its hunting grounds. We should regroup. I guess that was the introduction for Legiana. Which is, I believe, Ice Element. So this is the first uh, Ice Element monster you can fight for Ice Element weapons. Which I kind of want, uh, the long sword and dual swords. Hmm. Since they're good for elemental, because they're fast hitting weapons. So much for making it down. That loathsome monster is known as Legiana and rules over all other monsters in disguise. So long as it's out there hunting, we won't be able to reach the base of the Rotten Vale. Oh, I had almost forgot that you're a hunter. What do you mean? Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Suppose it wouldn't be too much trouble to ask you to hunt the Legiana before we get knocked out of the sky again. I mean, that's a pretty tall order. Can we accept it here? 
That intolerable monster is called Legiana, the same miserable creature that grounded my brilliant airship. Hmm. I see that it has maintained its title as the most bothersome creature of the new world. Hmm. As long as that thing is still feeding, we can't risk flying. Uh, oh. That was quite a shake. Okay. Just talk to hey, her. Partner. That was Legiana. You remember it from before, right? It's the same monster that knocked us into the veil. And the same monster responsible for downing the third fleet's airship all those years ago. Unless we take it down, we'll never get the research base down to the, uh, yeah, research base down to the base of the Ronvale. Slow and careful. And I just hate the word never, don't you? Come on, let's take out the Legiana. Sure thing, babe. So we fight the Ice Elemental. Third Fleet Master. You already know how I feel about this intolerable creature. As long as it controls the skies and the highlands, we'll never be able to make our descent. Do take care of it, won't you? Hi hi. And now we wait. Let's see if I can show the weapon. Hmm, I guess I can't. Oh here we go. Spike blade. I upgraded it to number two, which requires uh Monster Bone Plus. Which you can find from Rathalos. Pretty excited. I heard uh, I heard it's one of the tougher monsters. Since it's basically the apex of uh, Coral Highlands, I think. We need to clear the way so we can fly down to the base of the Rotten Vale. The airship will get knocked out of the sky if we don't do something about that monster. I'm on it. <laughs> Jellyfish at nighttime again. Where would it be, though? It's probably going to be somewhere over here. I did explore the map from doing some quests, but I still haven't fought it. But I imagine it's in the higher parts, which I think this camp is closer to. Oh, that's a big footprint. <laughs> Investigation added. Ooh. Aren't I going the wrong way? This big feet were pointing that way. Ooh, nice. We got a scale. Wait, shouldn't it lead us to it? Oh, it's right. It's right here. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's cool. Catch that. Okay, so it's got uh, Rathalos' base. Which probably means I should have equipped the flash cage for my Palico. Oh! Oh, I thought I had it. It looks cool. It's got big wings. Oh! And it kind of hits hard. Oh, you can drink on the... I don't know that. You can drink... On there. <laughs> broke something. No, I'm not, not sure what I broke. Okay, you just kind of wrap those. Maybe it maybe gets harder. Uh, at rage mode. Lucky you don't stay in the air like Rathalos. Oh, 
Oh, I broke its tail uh, wing things. Ooh, yeah! That mounted though. There you go. Oh, it looks cool on top. It's a really cool monster. So far, nothing really special though, fight wise. Oh no. Oh, now it's flying. Okay, bunch of... So the ice is supposed to be like, like a butterfly. This one has like a butterfly. Maybe not. <laughs> but the, I guess the dust looks sort of like... Oh, okay. That look cool. Does it hurt though? I haven't got hit by whatever that is. Oh, okay. That does hurt. Oh, and she's gone. I'm gonna call it a she. That's cool. I hate the water and ice elemental effects on you. The whole stamina, stamina thing. Actually, let me equip my ghillie. I haven't, I haven't barely used that thing. Because I don't have rock steady yet. Oh. CC. No. Hey, maybe we can flash him in there. Where's he at? Over here, over here. Flash him. Oh, nice. There it is, but it got me too. Oh no. Oh, nice. Get this. Get this. I broke his little whiskers. Antenna. What? Take the damage. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, it's man. Where'd Titi go? Oh, material. I'm tired though. Got it. Another piece? Ooh. -hoo. Gimme, gimme. Oh. What if his tail can get chopped off? Whoa. Oh no, ice element. I 
I didn't have, I don't have no berries. Ooh, almost got a tail. Ooh. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I really want this guy's weapons. And his armor looks cool too. Is he tired? No, waste my chance. Come on, come on. Ouch. Oh, he's tired. Come on. I want the tail. I don't know if it comes off, but I want it. Ow. Oh, it's leaving. Where the heck's that going? He's flying way up there. Maybe this is closer. like right outside. Probably should sharpen though. I like this great sword looks cool. Ooh, nice. Sounds cool. Nice, got a crit too. Oh, unfortunately, missed the tail. Oh, I think he's let me. The fly is telling me to go. There's nothing over there. Oh, oh, okay. No. Man, he's he's dumb scout flies. It's telling me to go up here, but there's nothing up here. I really like this stage though, it's really cool. And it's daytime now. What does that mean? Well, how can I go up there then? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nani? Oh, 
Oh, now my glider mantle is ready. When it's already too late. Riga, hurry. It's gonna wake up. Well. Let's go for it. Hoo Now let's see if we can do this. I keep messing this up uh, to get the true charge. I need to practice the length. Okay, let's just... Did a lot of damage. Here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh no, I canceled it. Press that. Oh no. Ooh, nice. Fly, fly, hurry. Oh, nice, I got it. That would have been an epic kill, though. Dang it, I keep missing. There we go. Give me them crits, son. Running back. Ow. Wow, this looks really cool in the day. Oh, nice. Gotta stop charging it. What? Get back here. Oh, we're trying to go down to the tail. I guess I can't. Nice, there. That wasn't bad. It's a cool monster. It's got a small face. Ooh, freeze daggers. Nice. Try to get some uh, coral crystals. Because uh, a lot of weapons actually use that material. Oh, over here. Come on. And Dragonite Ore. But nice, we defeated Legiana. So yeah, flash pods, definitely bring those. Or or the flash cage for your palico. That would have made the fight a lot quicker than 60 minutes. And we got a plate. <laughs> Plates are so easy in this game. I feel like I get one every other hunt or something for monsters that have plates. Uh, but cool. Hopefully that's a lot of materials. Uh, to maybe make a weapon or two. 
Ooh, Aqua Core. On to rank nine. Nice. Into the deep. Earned the right to take on five star assignments. Nice. Which I assume is like Rathalos and stuff, because I faced Rathalos a couple times in expeditions, but never got uh, new upgrade levels now available for armor. Ooh. But yeah, um, I faced Rathalos. It says investigation added, but it was like normal other monsters. I never got a Rathalos investigation. So I assume that's the trigger. You have to beat Legiana to unlock that. How incredible! You truly are impressive. Now our airship will make its descent into the lower depths of the Rock Vale. <laughs> Just say the word when you're ready. All right, the time has come. Let's head down to the bottom of the Vale. Uh, let's just check real quick, real quick, how the weapons look like for Legiana, as well as the armor. To show anyone interested that wants to forge their some weapons or the armor. It's probably got pretty good skills, maybe evade or mount. Like Palamu. Really interested in the daggers though. The dual blades. To unleash a whirlwind of combo attacks on your enemy. Though they're lightweight and relatively simple to use, they cannot be used to guard. Or at least to block when you can dodge like <laughs> nine feet away. Here we go. Uh, forge? No forging. Um, we did unlock this. Uh, I think you have to beat Radal Band to unlock it, but as a dragon element. Um, and it says something about Elder Seal, which I don't really know what that's about yet, but we'll find out. Probably has to do with Elder Dragons or something. But, uh, yeah, one thing I noticed that I forgot to add in the, the Forge Guide is weapons that are forgeable have this symbol right above it. You can see, like, a hammer. Uh, well, this little symbol right here, this little white uh, little node on there. That means you can forge it. So, if you're looking for Radoban, uh, forge, probably not worth it since you could just forge this whenever you unlock the materials for that. Like, this is forgeable. This is forgeable. Um, if you went Puka Puke, it was a waste of time because his final weapon, I assume, is forgeable. Or whatever this monster's weapon is. Um, so that's what that means. But anyways, uh, any Legiana? Ah. Ooh, Frozen Core. Classic. But not, well, kind of Legiana. Need two more Frost Sacks and one more Light Crystal. Ice Element. But what we really want to know is... Oh. Ooh, Glacial Axe. Okay, that's cool. I kind of want that. I haven't used Switch Axe in a while. Also have Rathalos switch X. How about longsword? Uh, flickering glow. Legiana tail webbing. It's just a normal sword, no element. Which is kind of whatever. It's not that great. Oh, here we go. Glacial shuttle. Kind of boring design. The designs are kind of boring early on. Not gonna lie. Some of them. Some of them are cool though. Uh, and Janaps are pretty cool. Pretty unique looking. And same thing with Jiratadas, sort of. But stuff like long swords or great swords, they tend to look kind of, uh... How about Charge Blade? Ooh. Well, that looks boring. <laughs> it's just... It looks similar to... It's exactly steel. Oh, it's because it's a normal weapon. Okay. So it's not Legiana themed. It's just normal. And lastly, dual blades. Freeze daggers. So they're normal too. Still, I kind of want them. They have a lot of green sharpness, which means you won't have to sharpen as much. Low element though. This kind of sucks. Oh well, nothing 
too crazy right now. Probably have to farm that off screen. But let's take a look at the armor set. Ooh, I like it. Ice Princess. Really cool. What are the skills? Uh, Divine Blessing? Evade Window? Yes. Airborne? Yes. Like I said. Ice Attack and Ice Resistance. So this is really cool. Good chance of increased quest rewards. Oh, Legiana Blessing. Nani? Hey, this is the farming set. Okay. Jumping attack power plus 10%. So good for Insect Glaive, sort of. Um, and some other weapons, I guess. Cool. I like the look of it. Unfortunately, I have the samurai set blocking the, uh, the lower half, but it looks cool. <laughs> Anyways, let us go back. And hopefully I have time for whatever monster they want us to hunt next. Which I assume is Odogeran. Because now we're going to get into the harder monsters, I believe. Oops, my bad. <laughs> camera types. Yeah, I recommend switching to target camera option. It's better than the, the focus one. Which focuses focuses on parts of a monster's body, but the camera gets weird mid action. While target just makes your camera turn towards them. Now is the time. Yes, depart. <laughs> I suppose we need to find a place safe enough for you to depart and suitable camp for. There you shall resume your search for Zora Magnaros. And do not forget my request, you must think deeply what is the rotten veil? I look forward to hearing what you come up with. Okay. Well then, off we go. Into another lorry screen. <laughs> there are five elements. Fire, thunder, water, ice, and dragon. Take advantage of a monster's elemental weaknesses to deal extra damage to it. Um, and if you want to know a monster's weakness, but you don't have it in your, your uh, monster guide, you can just look at their armor set and look at the stat that's... Uh, that is negative, and that will be the weakest stat, whichever one has a higher number, higher negative number. So, imagine we're going to see another cutscene here. Maybe. There we go. Ooh, into the bowels of the veil. There traces of Zora Magdaros down here somewhere. I have a feeling I know what the rotten veil is. Well, please share your info, because I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> and I want to know. By the way, uh, make sure to dump your ammo in your item box every time you go out on a mission, or before you go out on a mission, because the supply box always gives you ammo, so you can get pretty much free ammo. So all this is free. Which is useful if I plan to switch to heavy bow gun or um, bow later on. Oh, Elder Dragon. <sighs> ah. This is where Magdaro's tracks. Ooh. Nothing can stop us. Bit of bug. Wait, I'm going to. You too. Here. <laughs> okay. You figured it out too, haven't you? What the rotten veil really is. I really haven't. <laughs> it's a graveyard. For sure. Is this a pool of acid? Yikes! Don't touch it! Oh. Oh, here we go. Look. 
Hey. Zora doo doo. Is another cutscene. I know we've reached the bottom. Whoa. It's like an echo to the to the audio. But what happened to Zora Magdaros? There's no place else for it to go. Why are you asking me? <laughs> I think we should split up and look. Ooh. Well, it looks cooler than I thought. Eee, my favorite doggo, Clifford. Watch out. Clifford's mad they canceled the show. Sure we can. <laughs> no, she can't hold that thing off. Uh, we've got to help her. You mean I have to help her? I hope she's okay. Okay, so I guess we gotta hunt Orgeron. Uh, sure. <laughs> And actually, so okay, let's go. Face what I get on. Well, hunt to Clifford. That's pretty much what it is. Clifford. That's an old cartoon kid show. If you, you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Clifford the big red dog. Ooh. What's the noise? Oh, here's the freaking cool music. Oh, we just started already? Okay. Let's do this. I think he causes bleed, right? It's like one of the monsters that causes bleed. Which is annoying status. Oh, man. Almost had it. Oh, he's fast. Oh, no. I imagine his claw hits are gonna be the source of the bleed. Probably a good, I, good idea to use a fast weapon against him. He moves so much. Take to try to move. Oh yeah, he got me bleed. There you go, okay. That's how you heal it. Can't wait to make his armor set. Ooh, why is he yellow? Not getting a lot of damage here. Oh, he's running. Get this for the potion. <gasps> Froggy, over here. Yes. No. Hurry up. No. 
no. Is there another frog? Over here. This time. Freebo, come over here. There you go. Whoa. He just like spazzed out. Oh, I'm bled. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez, you gotta do that much. So he's gonna be pretty tough for new players. Oh, he's angry, that's why. Moving like Sonic. Oh no! You! Alright, definitely a step up from Legiana. I'm using a great sword. Oh! Reap? Ain't gonna lie, pretty tough. Pretty uh, jumpy. I think I have the jerky thing. Yeah, I do. Uh, for bleeding, you can buy the Astera jerky from the shop guy in, in town. Hmm. Oh, you're tired. That fast? Like I barely did anything to him. No. Let's see if we go off of that tail. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Can't clean off. Nice, got his toes. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding though. So I'm gonna need a jerky. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I definitely recommend buying a stair jerky when you find him. Ow. Oh, he sounds weird. It's freaking fast. <laughs> Odo Geran. Odo Geran. Damn. Arigato. Uh oh. The effluvia junk. Puddle pod. Stay back! Stay back! Beast! <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Oh. And uh, apparently, there's gonna be a, a Ryu skin and a Sakura skin uh, they're adding from uh, Street Fighter. Oh! Just missed him. Nice, got his face. Stun went to sleep though. Nice.
I'm trying to do a lot of small attacks. So maybe uh, apply the sleep effect better. Oh no! Oh no! Ugh. Karibo! Oh, what the heck? Whoa! <laughs> well, I dodged that. Oh, singer turn. Gimme. Beast. Oh, you're tired? So he gets tired really fast. Interesting. Gotta heal though. Ooh, piercing pod. Bra. 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 What? Or maybe he's like resistant to sleep. I'm surprised he's not asleep yet. Whoa, that was close. You limping? Hey, where are you going? Nani. Nani to. Way over here. Me that honey. This is where his tail is at. Actually, you know what I've been doing wrong. No, no, I've been doing wrong. Oops. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been doing wrong. Oh, I thought I had level 3. Give me the KOs! I love this song. Green. RKO! Gimme, gimme! Yes, thank you. Whoa. Oh, what? Oh, got him with the tackle. I knocked him out. What the heck? Oh, I thought I had level three. No! <gasps> Could it be possible to fail a mission? I don't think I failed the mission yet at all. But to do so against my favorite new monster from Monster Hunter World, eh, uh, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> Hopefully we don't though. But that was a clutch knockout. Too bad. I didn't realize it sooner. So I was hitting his back. It's not the best damage. Um, but yeah, I meant uh, as a wake up. I've been doing the dumb slashes like this when in reality I should have been doing the the tackles because they don't move you forward as much. Or it's the length of it. Oh, whoa! whoa! Well, he does get tired fast. He got tired like three times, and it's only like 50 minutes. 
Roar! Yes! Down he goes. The red beast. Red Clifford. His, half his face is gone. <laughs> what do we get on the fang? By breaking its head. Also obtained by carving scale. And another scale, okay. That bone pile. We're really, really happy with him. Um, he's not annoying uh, mechanically. Um, he's actually pretty fun to fight. And him being all over the screen is probably really crazy for people facing him for the first time. Or in multiplayer. Ooh, Warped Bone. Need that. Only got one, though. But nice! We cleared Odogeron. I thought she'd be with you. I'm going out for another look. No, you're not. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> uh, right. I was scared to death. All right, easy, easy. I'm just glad that you're not hurt. Thank you. I was planning to hide until it moved on, but well, <laughs> you saved me the trouble. Now, now, that's enough. Mom? <laughs> now, we had a deal, don't you remember? Did you learn all you could about the veil? What's now her name? tell me everything. What did you feel out there? I think... I think the veil is where the monsters come to die. It's their graveyard, and this whole land is a vast ecosystem revolving around it. Oh, snap. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Come on. You mean a meteor didn't hit it? <laughs> there goes my theories. You're right. The veil is where monsters come to rest. They sense the end and make their way here. Their bodies become nutrients that feed the coral highlands. From death rises new life, which after a cycle returns to the veil to die again. Oh. <laughs> it's an ecological marvel. One that easily dwarfs any I have ever seen. Yeah. But have you really considered the important question? What's that? Who's at the heart of it? What monster could serve as the nutrients for a system this large? Oh. What's the mystery behind the Elder Crossing? You know the answer. They die here. Bingo! An Elder's death is the catalyst. The Veil is Zora Magdaros's resting place. Oh. Well, that's cool. So I guess elder dragons that are old and kind of weak. Or at least it should be. The clues are all here, but Zora is nowhere to be found. It was drawing in energy, storing it as it moved on. Was it trying to deliver it somewhere? Hmm, I don't know. But I know who might. The first Wyvarians have lived here much longer than us. Seek them out. Look, it's raining life. It's raining life? Vitas! <laughs> it's raining Vitas. Flowers. <sighs> if only I could live another 300 years. Maybe that would be just long enough to see the end of this changing of the guard. Friends, you go finish this. I want to stay here a while longer. 
See what death has to give and life has to bring. Hey, she's cool. But where's that coming from? The sky? Hmm. Uh, no plates or anything. Sinu. Mostly obtained as a reward. You also get Monster Bone Plus from him and Work Bones, so pretty good for crafting some weapons. And uh, Sturdy Bone. Hey, 50k. New cutscene has been added to the gallery. And if you're wondering about the gallery, it's at the main menu. Um, which you probably know that by now if you got this far. Uh, but let us see if there's any cutscenes. My cat's going crazy over there. Kari, what do you see? <laughs> bounty rewards. I wish the bounties got a little bit cooler, though. They were cool at first, but now it's just like, eh. Eh. The rewards are kind of lame. Good to see you. Hey, good work with your field reports on the Coral Highlands and Rotten Vale. Hmm. <laughs> if our tracker and third's master both agree about the Rotten Vale, then we can safely assume that's the Elder Crossing's graveyard, so to speak. We should start focusing on the Commission's efforts there. The question is, where Zor Zoramagros has gone, if it's not in the graveyard anymore? And the first Wyvarians may be able to answer that question. I looked into it, and the closest sighting of the first Wyvarians was in the ancient forest. You can do this! Head out there on an expedition and see if you can track them down. Because unfortunately, we're running out of time. The first so... Wyvarians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdaros is. Ooh, Dragonbone Stammer. Stabber. <laughs> Number two, materials gathered. What do you gotta say? Yo. Yo, <laughs> just got back. Oh, before I forget, the scholars at the research base wanted me to give this to you. I guess the airship engineer gave them some ideas and decided to put this together. Anyway, here you go. They said thank you and want you to visit again. Enjoy. Ooh, Vitality Mantle. And what does that do? Let's go check that out real quick, actually. Is that the... Uh, I don't think that was in the beta, right? Let's see. Change equipment. Vitality. Negates a fixed amount of damage. Which... Ex which... After which the effect expires. Ooh! Hey! Extra health, pretty much? Let's see. Play movie. Well, I mean, that doesn't really tell me much. <laughs> they don't show the health bars or anything. But, uh, we'll try it out for the next episode, unless I'm able to stream. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to end it here. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your favorite moment of the episode. And don't forget to subscribe for more Monhun epicness.